What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you stopping by for the first time, do me a real quick favor. See that red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that and show your support for the channel. Those of you stopping by that have been here before, welcome back to TLTG Reviews, my friends. Glad you came to see me. So it's that time of the week. It's my weekly rotation. Only well, this time, it was Mancera week. Let's get into it. So starting off on Sunday is a newcomer to the collection, uh, one that I was worried was a little too feminine. And to be honest with you, the opening is indeed very feminine. I did do a full review on it. If you'd like to check that out, I'll put that right there. And fragrance we're talking about, Mancera Black Vanilla. Not every guy's going to like this. I understand that because that white peach makes it a little feminine. The jasmine and the rose is pretty heavy in the opening. But if you get past that. It's not too feminine, but if you get past that opening, man, 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 the vanilla and black currant on this, the transition to the dry down and hours and hours into it. This thing's gorgeous. It's very elegant, very put together. This is confidence inspiring, but if you're not confident when you wear it and you're giving off the wrong vibe, this fragrance will wear you. You have been warned, but Confident guy such as myself, you just roll with it, you know? Somebody asks, you just get into it. Oh, yeah, man, vanilla's really strong in this one, blah, 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 blah. Go on and on about it. Take the power away if they want to say it smells it smell like a chick or something, because it's only for about 30 minutes. After that, this thing is gorgeous. The dry down is beautiful. Don't knock it until you try it with Mancera Black Vanilla. And then later that evening, you never know what women are going to like when you spray it on. This is super cheap. It was a gift from my in-laws. When I sprayed it across the room, after I got out of the shower, my wife said, ooh, what are you wearing? That smells good. Gap Core Man. That's right, Gap Fragrance. Every time I spray this one, she likes this one. It, it never fails, because <laughs> it don't happen all the time, but it happens every time that I wear it. So, like I said, with black vanilla. Don't knock a fragrance until you try it because you never know who's going to enjoy it. You might enjoy it or your significant other may enjoy it as well. So capping off Sunday night was Gap Core Man. Moving into Monday, a favorite from the house, one that kind of like the one everybody starts with from the house really and truly, which it wasn't the one I started with, but it's quintessential Mancera for sure. It's Cedra Bois or Cedra Boise. Tomato, tomato. But this one is kind of their Aventus, if you will. It's a bit fruitier and a bit woodier. Uh, doesn't really have the smoky quality. But to be honest with you, kind of like this one more than Aventus, to be real. And you can get this one way, way, way cheaper. Word got out that Forever Lux had them in that $58, $60 range. And people have been destroying their inventory. Uh, every time they restock it, whew, it goes. <laughs> so... You heard it here, Forever Lux, you can get them real cheap. And there's other places on eBay, legitimate sellers, that you can get them cheap. Uh, Kushik over in the Facebook groups, he's always got them cheap. It's hard to beat, it really is. This one's great, it performs well, and it smells amazing. This can be your signature scent, really and truly. Cidra Boise from Mancera. And then later that evening was Nautica Aqua Rush. I like them citrusy, and I like them weak out the shower. Aquatics just work for me, and Nautica is full of weak citrus aquatic fragrances. Uh, and you'll notice that, you know, getting out the shower, I'm not spraying Mancera's. You know, there's no reason for a 10-hour high projecting fragrance when I get out the shower. So, sticking to my usual stuff, just during my day, I was rocking nothing but Mancera this week. And it was, it was fun. It really was. I enjoyed it. And speaking of things I enjoy, I really enjoy this one. I'm so glad I got it. You can find them at Ross, where I found this one for $10.99 for 100 ml. So, like I've said a thousand times. Just because they're cheap doesn't mean they're garbage. To some people they are, but I absolutely love nautica fragrances such as Aqua Rush. Moving into Tuesday, uh, it was a suit and tie type of day, and I figured of the Manceras I have, this is kind of, besides black vanilla, really the most suit and tie friendly one because it's so powdery and floral. And of course we're talking about Aude Blue Notes. 
I've already had a few people request I do a full review on this one, so I guess some in the next couple of days I will be releasing a full review on AU Blue Notes. I may do that, shoot that today, and release it tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Oh man, it's very fruity, very fruity, very floral. Um, the violet and the orris root in this one take over in that transition. It's powdery. It's not offensive powdery. It's very elegant. It's very floral powdery. It's not a screamer off your skin by any means, but it creates a nice little scent bubble and it just, like most Mancera's, this 10 to 12 hour fragrance, um, one that you can get for a good price. Again, these Mancera's on the gray market, they're less than half of retail. Oh, and they just smell amazing. And this one's got a uniqueness to it. I've never smelled a fruity floral fragrance that smells like AU Blue Notes. And this is one that I really don't think, be, as floral as it is, it's not feminine. This is leans masculine, really and truly. This is a manly floral fragrance and one that I strongly suggest. This was one of the first Manceras I got, and I love this one. It's Aude Blue Notes. And then later that evening, one that I haven't worn in a while, I like to spray this one getting out the showers from Central Obsessions. It's their version of Chrome Sport. You can see the little denim starting to put in that. This is a lot more performance than I tend to like for getting out the shower, but it smells so freaking good. Really and truly, it's a more intense version of the real Chrome Sport. And you can get them cheap. It's, I, know, I know it's a, replicate, a, a replicating clone of a cheapy fragrance. I get that. This is better than the original. It really is. Performs so much better and it's got a lot more depth to it. It's one that's definitely worth trying out. So from Central Obsessions, that night at the shower, Chrome Sport. Then moving into Wednesday. So we had another cool front roll through. It was relatively cold, so I figure this is probably one of my very last chance to wear this to where it's not gonna be cloying because next week we're already hitting the 80s multiple days, this week coming. Um, man, I, I hate that the time has gone to wear this one, but I really did enjoy my probably my final wearing this season of Mancera Red Tobacco. So until the fall, rolls around and we get some more cool fronts that's probably just gonna be sitting pretty on the shelf and it's kind of sad this is a monster i love this one this is my favorite fragrance from the house my favorite tobacco fragrance it's got a relatively pungent oud to it mixing with the tobacco and the incense is potent in this one it pretty much fills a room it's got crazy longevity can't say enough good things. This is the one that's always the most expensive. This and a few others are always the most expensive ones even on the gray market. This is still in that $100 range for red tobacco. But I'll tell you what, I can't recommend this one enough. The presentation is gorgeous with that translucent red. This one has that gold plastic cap on the bottom with the extra flare and rivets and gold collar on the cap, gold on the top of the cap. I'll tell you what, this is a must have from Mancera as well. Uh, if you like a pungent tobacco and oud, because this is all of those things, it's strong. And in the air, it smells even better than it does right off your skin. So that was what I wore on Wednesday. And then later that evening, after wearing something so heavy all day, I need something light and citrusy, Gap, Yuzu, and Chino. The color's fitting because it smells like oranges. Synthetic oranges, don't get me wrong but very pleasant synthetic oranges. Ah, smells very good. So that was what I wore out the shower after having Mancera Red Tobacco all day. I went with Gap, Yuzu, and Chino. Moving into Thursday. So I've been wanting this one for quite a while, another recent acquisition. It was just as good as I thought it was, if not better, really and truly. It's ad as advertised, it's burning wood with vanilla. <laughs> you know, it's Mancera. Aude Vani. Don't pass on this one. The time to wear this one's starting to shorten. You can get, you can wear this one in the spring. Um, I wouldn't go in the real hot weather. Like once it starts clipping mid 80s, it's, shut it down. It's gonna get clawing. On up to 80, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a few more days that I can wear this one. They're gonna come around. That'll be in the 70s where it's you know 50s in the morning. It'll be cool enough. And I'm in the climate controlled environment enough. So I can bust this one out. Oh, it's so good. The vanilla in this one's so well done. The oud is not overpowering. It just adds a quality to it with guaiac wood. Love me some guaiac wood. That adds the smoky quality. 
Eudvini. I absolutely loved wearing this one, and it's one that you really should try because it's very, very good. And then out the shower was one that my, my buddy Chuck Moore sent to me. It's discontinued from Nautica. And I looked up the notes. It wasn't a passion fruit I was getting. It was a dragon fruit, so I was close. But this is awesome. Nautica Aqua Rush Gold. If you can find these out there, guys, I don't know why it got discontinued because this is one of the best smelling Nautica fragrances I've ever smelled. It's very, very fruity and aquatic. The dragon fruit just adds another dimension to this from any other Nautica fragrance. It's so good. It's full of citrus fruits and, uh, and the dragon fruit. And I mean, my God, I wish they would have never discontinued this one. I'm glad, Chuck, thank you so much for sending it out to me because I probably would have never got my nose on this one. This is great. This one's probably going to make the rotation pretty heavily. Uh, probably going to be a weekly spray for sure. And then when it heats up, probably on some casual days, I'll, I'll spray it heavy. But man, Aqua Rush Gold. You see it out there, you grab it. Moving into Friday, um, when it gets too hot, might not be the best idea to wear this because the bottle color and the name will fool you. It's Aoud Lemon Mint. Probably wouldn't wear this in the scorching heat. 100 degree weather, mm, probably not for this fragrance. But for the rest of the year, oh yeah, it's something special. They don't get much more creamy nutty with a beautiful lemon, with a tinge of oud, synthetic oud, don't get me wrong, then lemon mint. Lemon mint is, my God, it's running a race with red tobacco for my favorite from the house. These are neck and neck, who's gonna pull ahead? Because it's hard to beat red tobacco in my book. I absolutely love red tobacco, but this one comes very, very close. It's kind of a 1A, 1B, or technically, I guess you'd call this number two, of the eight that I have. And uh, Lemon Mint's great. It's one that I strongly advise you to try because there's a strong possibility you'll like it. The performance is ridiculous and absurd and unnecessary. But if you like fragrances like that, Aoud Lemon Mint might be the one. And then later that evening, I'm um, getting very low on my Cremo Blue Cedar and Cypress for, uh, body wash. I'm down to about that much. Um, every time I use it, though, I like to spray this in kind of a layering type of thing. Cremo Blue Cedar and Cypress, the fragrance. When I use one, I like to use the other. You can see the dent that's starting to get put in that. Because uh, I really enjoy this one. Matt over at Georgia Gent, this is his favorite from the house. And it's not my favorite from the house. Spice and Black Vanilla is my favorite. But this is number two. You got to like that sharp citrus peel and cypress note that it has. Because uh, it really gives it a sharpness to it. And it's chemical. It's synthetic. All the Cremo fragrances are. They're 23 bucks for these 100 mLs. But they do smell pretty good in my opinion. Oh, man, man, man. And look, I think I sprayed it whenever I put the cap on. I don't know if y'all are able to see yeah, yeah, up, 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 up. Let's put it right here. See all that? Oh, yeah. I accidentally sprayed it when I went to put the cap on. So we'll put that right here to the side. Uh, I'll clean that off after. But hey, yeah, a little blooper for you guys. I sprayed everywhere. But on Friday, Blue Cedar in Cyprus. Moving into Saturday on game day. So where'd I put it? So I only had two Manceras left that I had not wore. I have eight Mancera fragrances. There's seven days in the week. Those of you that follow me on Instagram, you saw in my story what my scent of the day was. So it was between the Eud and Wave Musk. And I tell you right now, it was too damn warm to wear the Eud. So this week, the Eud got asked out. It was planned, and I ended up Switching a few things around once I got wave musk. So lemon mint was originally going to be Saturday and the Aoud was going to be Friday. The Aoud got asked out. Lemon mint went to Friday and wave musk went to game day on Saturday. And I got to tell you, this is without a shadow of a doubt after one wearing one of my favorite freshies. This is great. The grassiness, I'm going to do a full review. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but the grassiness with a light sea salt in the background and the grapefruit, this is beautiful, powerful. I 10 hours until it became a skin scent 
for a light and airy freshie, I actually got three compliments. Granted, I was kind of, we were got close to each other. It wasn't like three feet away. They're like, ooh, I smell you. Except for one. One was downwind from me because we had a breeze. I was like, man, that smells fresh. What you wearing today? So this is some good stuff. You can have this one in that $70, $80 range as well. You don't have to go crazy heavy with it for being a freshie. And it smells so good. Now, it's not reinventing the wheel, but I really don't have a lot that I'm like, mm, this is that. That's not really what I have going on with it. It's more grassy and salty than anything else that I have. Uh, so Wave Musk is definitely one to try. And then sticking with the grassiness, I figured let's double up. Lucky You from Lucky Brand. I know this is no over at Titan Fragrances. This is one of his favorite fragrances. And for good reason. The performance is absolutely awful. But if you like a grassy green spring fragrance that's cheap, I mean cheap, you can get this. Liz Claiborne makes it. It is really good. I sprayed it out the shower last night. I love how this one smells. If you like a grassy note, very green. The juice is fitting for Lucky You by Lucky Brand because it's really good stuff. So you can see this actually, typically on Saturdays, I bust out Nautica Classic, but I actually grabbed this one. Nautica Classic got asked out this week, but don't get me wrong. You need not worry, it'll be back next week. But out the shower on Saturday was Lucky You by Lucky Brand. Spoiler alert, it makes the spring cheapy list. Not a lot of people talk about it. It's good stuff. It made, made a list last year. But until next time, guys, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback. Did any of you wear some Manceras this week? I really enjoyed doing this. Um, probably going to do in the next few weeks another house, and I'll just wear that for the week. Uh, but until next time, I will say if you get your hands on some of these and you give them a spray now, it's a really good chance that you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.